Good afternoon. This is Heidi Thompson and I'm here with Monday Noontide. I am the Legacy Lifeguard with Lifeguarding Legacies. I help people use wills and trusts to um, make sure that everything they work for goes flawlessly to the people they love and the causes they care about. And today I have a special guest and a good friend of mine, Glenn Meir with Meir Images. He is a videographer, photographer that does all kinds of amazing things for businesses and people <laughs> and, and both sides. And um, he just, he does make you look spectacular. Fabulous and feel spectacular. I never get that right. So I'm glad I'm going to turn right. it over to you. That's all right. <laughs> so, Glenn, it's... tell me a little about yourself. Oh, wow. Uh, people ask me, where did I grow up or where am I from? And the re response normally is, I'm a gypsy. Uh, I was a military brat, so we moved a lot. When I left the house, I kind of carried on the tradition. I've lived everywhere from Washington to Massachusetts to Mississippi to California and lots of places in between. Uh, I'm adventuresome. I, I've done a lot of different things and broken a few bones doing uh, high risk things, but it's my philosophy is I'll heal. So uh, goal is no regrets. Um, I'm a techno geek. I love my technical toys. Uh, and whatever it is, I get into it a deep, whether it's um, motorcycles or boats or computers or videography um, or even coaching. Uh, it just immersion therapy is what it is. Uh, that's when I'm at my best. Fantastic. Uh, I'm a uh, father of two. Uh, multi-grandfather, multi-multi-great-grandfather, um, and uh, currently single, but not looking for anything in, in, in any rush, and uh, probably my uh, main philosophy is you can have anything you want in life or the reasons why not. Choose. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. I haven't heard that one before. Well, oh. Glenn, you are working from somewhere that does not look a bit like Phoenix. No, I got tired of the heat, so I moved, <laughs> moved my office up to the Arctic Circle here. You can see the snow out in the background there. Oh. It's fantastic. So this is one of the things you're doing now with your business. Talk to me about that. Oh, backgrounds, video backgrounds, mm -hmm. utilize green screens. Uh, we work with live stream video um, and just regular recorded video, but most of it is against a green screen. So you can have whatever backgrounds are appropriate for whatever your message is. It could be just a nice color with a background of text, logos, videos, whatever it is you need. And likewise, if you have a, uh, a, television show, a talk show you want to do, or interviews with testimonials, you name it. Uh, we can do that live or and or recorded in the studio for individuals or businesses. Fantastic. So I know that you do you do a wide variety of services. You're, you're not just the guy that shows up with the camera and stands in the corner and records what's going on. Talk to me about the kinds of events that you like to help people out with or the kinds of things that you can do for people in businesses. Boy, almost anything except weddings. We don't do weddings. Uh, you got to like weddings and I don't like weddings. <laughs> uh, everything from multi-day conventions with multiple cameras and full blown productions, uh, podcasts, webinars, com television, commercial, type messages, um, short little events, uh, speaker events is a good thing we get called on a lot of times. People want to have a recording of their presentation. Uh, training, education videos, companies are doing a lot more live video or um, training videos so that they can put it on YouTube, have their new employees watch all the training videos and start up real quick on the business being much more effective. Um, testimonials, that's a number one uh, marketing tool. 
happy, satisfied clients with a good professional recording of them talking about you sells a lot. Um, most anything nowadays is involves video and a biggest percent of it you can do with a cell phone right there in your home or your office and that's fine I'm, that's not what i'm looking for when you're ready to step up your game and do high quality professional videos and high quality professional audio that goes with it that's what i want to hear of. well and you're doing things with audio too now that are totally different uh, some band work and some things like that talk, talk a little about that too so guys you just need to know if you have a creative project that you need to get recorded in any way glenn's your guy he can he can hook up your band he can he can he can take care of lots of things so talk about that just for a minute well my life is kind of an evolutionary journey uh from the 30 years in the computer technical world into photography then into videography and videography requires high quality sound. People will watch uh, a lousy video if the sound is good. They will disappear quickly if the opposite is true. So because of the video, I ended up needing to learn audio and learning the audio led me to working with a classic rock band who I now do the the sound recording and mixing for. And that in itself has now led to this whole live stream thing where people can talk and we can either produce the, the video for them or live stream uh, both the podcast and a webinar. So the combination of any of it, I like to tell people, whatever your project needs are, we can handle it. So. I bet. So it, I love the challenge. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Well, you're you're up for the challenge and it's so clear that you enjoy all the techni technical pieces of it. It's great. Hey, during this COVID world we're living in, I know you and I used to see each other a lot of networking. That's pretty much disappeared, but the need for your services probably has increased. The world of Zoom is definitely one of them. And mm. like this call right here, uh, we are seeing more and more backgrounds, like your background there, like mine, you know, where I've got these little banners that pop up. We got to keep marketing. We have to keep the, uh, the world knowing we're out there and alive and ready to do business. So one-to-ones, uh, group networking meetings, all of these are critical important and important, but the social media world is exploding. YouTube videos, Facebook live stream videos, Instagram, LinkedIn, all of these social media platforms are looking for video content. The quality is actually secondary. Consistent presence and posting is the highest. Then when you're ready to bump it up, that's when we can help you out. Or if you're having a struggle, a challenge, figuring out what to do, we can talk about that. And you actually have really great ideas on how to work the marketing and make it be part of a structure or a plan for people. You've got some some background and some people that help you with that side, right? Exactly. I, one of the first questions when I started getting into video was, all right, now I've got this neat video. What am I supposed to do with it? Uh, there's a whole world of experts out there that do the scheduled posting. They know when and where to post and those people i work with i don't pretend to be the expert at everything at all it's i believe in getting the right people for the right job at the right time so if you're challenged to that we can produce the, the quality video and audio and then put you in touch with or connect with or manage all of the posting and marketing for you fantastic now now glenn uh, a lot of people on my segment are community minded and I, I love working with community minded businesses and I know you are most certainly one of those. So um, you have a real heart for Harvest Compassion Center. Talk to me a little bit about who they are, what they do and how people can help. Ooh, Harvest Compassion Center is one of those 
hidden jewels. You know, it's a, uh, when I was, uh, well, not when I was, the uh, Phoenix Metro Chamber of Commerce does a lot of work with philanthropic uh, organizations, charities and whatnot. We did a, a field trip over to the Harvest Compassion Center at Thunderbird and Tatum and just uh, walk through and see who they were and what they were doing. And, and when I walked out of there, uh, I was totally inspired by who they are as a group, of, as a people, as the organization, and what they do. They are a food and clothing bank for anyone, free to anyone who walks in the door. Uh, there's no qualification, just sign up. It's once a month that you can come in there, food, clothing items, whatever you need, no questions, no uh, boundaries, if you will. If you need it, it's there for you. Some, have, you have to belong to the right church or the right zip code or the right financial qualification, so forth. They don't care. Come in, they will help you. And the, uh, they've got four different locations now. Uh, my job basically is to help keep the pipeline of supplies filled. And uh, I've talked with a lot of people around the valley who have different closets full of stuff. One of the uh, slogans, declutter to donate. Everybody's got a closet, boxes, garages, storage, dressers, kids toy boxes of stuff we don't need. There are hundreds and hundreds of people out there that that would be a treasure to them. So my first Saturday, every month, donate. Take a look at your closet, pick one drawer, pick one box, one closet, go through it. Those fat clothes, you're never gonna wear again. Those skinny clothes, yeah, you're not gonna wear them again. The 1970s clothes, yeah, you're not gonna wear again. The kids' toys that are gone to college, time to let them go. Donate, Harvest Compassion Center, and if you have a challenge, too much of it, give me a call, we'll pick it up. Fabulous. That's such a kind offer. And I've seen you when you've absolutely taken people up on that with, I mean, just a whole truckload of, of bags. Uh, some from people, people got and, a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, I've uh, seen you doing that. In, in this country, the, the rule is you buy a house, fill it up with stuff. And when you got too much stuff, you got to go buy a bigger house so you can buy more stuff. And uh, when you start decluttering, you find out you don't really need that big a place. Exactly and right. it's a lot more peaceful knowing that what you have has made a difference for somebody else. Well, and for people who maybe you're in a situation where you're downsizing your house anyway, you're, you're, you've are you reached that place in life where it makes sense. Um, it might be a great time to go through things and start whittling that down. And, and if you need help with that, I'm sure Glenn and I could get you in touch with people who help in that world too. So, hey, Glenn, I'm just, I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for your friendship and for uh, what you've done for me. And, and hey, I, I'm not using it today, so I can't showcase it, but I have a, a background I've actually used from Glenn where it's got a fun looking legal office, but in the corner there's a picture and it shows clips of, a movie with some information about what yeah. I can do to help people. And it's, it's just a really a cool thing. It's, it's a fun, fun piece. And I'm, uh, Glenn helped me uh, with that. He set that up for me and, and Glenn can do the same for you. So, Hey, how would people reach you if they want to reach out to you, Glenn? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, you can reach me at Glenn at mirrorimages.com. That's G L E N N at mirrorimages, M I R E I M A G E S.com or 602-999-9217. Thanks so much, Glenn. Hey, I appreciate it. Anything else you want to leave with, with uh, everybody out here? Put you Remember, on the spot, that's terrible. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff, because it's all small stuff. That's exactly right.
Thanks, Glenn. Hey, I appreciate it so much. Uh, this has been Monday Noontide with Heidi Thompson and Glenn Muir. Uh, I am your legacy lifeguard with Lifeguarding Legacies. If it's time to get that will or trust in place, please give me a call, 602-529-1827, or visit my website, lifeguardinglegacies.com. Thanks, and have a great week. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you.